Santiago, lo que vamos a hacer es, ellos van a estar tocando. There was a lot of work done. Um, it was a lot of corrections uh, on the field that we needed to do. There was a lot of communication. There, there, there was a lot of willingness from the group to want to come out of that moment. Um, and everybody did a great job to, to work hard and, and step by step, you know, be, be a better team. Uh, going back to, to our principles of who we are, going back to uh, being very strong and difficult to, you know, to be broken down, be good on the ball, be better defensively, and we corrected a couple of things uh, in, in, in defending, being better in set pieces, and I think uh, that we have seen the evolution of the team getting better and better game by game, so um, credit to the guys because they've they done a great job to being united and, and understand that in order for us to make it forward, we had to work hard, and, and, uh, and that's what that the guys have done. Yeah, how proud are you of the guys that in that moment where it's kind of a sink or swim, right, you could fold it up and go well geez we just lost six to two at home to our rivals worst ever but you made a good out of that that's really the only way to go unless you just say well time to go on vacation oh, and I, I said it during the time that the 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 character of a team you know is uh is found out or you can see it in the difficult moments uh and and i think uh this team has shown to you know, uh, to be a strong team, a strong, strong mentality team, and uh, in the most difficult moment, because I, I got to tell you that out of you know all these years that I've been here, you know, we had had little moments, uh, but uh, losing at home that game against Seattle it was, you know, definitely a moment that. Uh, uh, it, it was very deep in all of us and, and we work hard to make sure that uh, that doesn't happen again. How proud are you of the player that Dyron Espria has become? Talking about consistency, searching for that. He's had to try to find that his entire career. We've seen glimpses of it that would go away. This year, he's played in every game and he's just been there for you time and time again. That wasn't always the case. Yeah, maturity. I mean, he's matured so much. He's done so well. He's. Uh, you know, he's, he's, he's a great person, uh, a, a, you know, good guy, and, and uh, he has so many qualities as a player. And, and physically, I mean, you know, it's incredible what he's capable of doing. And, and it was just uh, about understanding uh, what he needed to do and in regards to staying calmer, being more mature, you know, make sure that he continued to develop. And, and he's been very hungry this season to want to play always and to be on the starting lineup. And he's competed very well. So uh, we're all content to see, uh, you know, this new version of uh, Asprilla uh, because he's done very well. Oh, so good to see. And another one to see is Felipe. When you guys went and scouted him to bring him in from Pumas on loan, and the, it was a great match at the time, and it's really come to fruition now this season. He's been a great leader for you guys as well, not just in the stat sheet, but in the locker room too. I mean, he's one of the sweetest guys on the club. Yeah, I mean, Felipe has been phenomenal. He's, he's done a great job to score goals, to help link up the play. And, and, and I remember there were moments in which, you know, he didn't find the goal uh, at the beginning of the season, but he still was giving us so much because his uh, knowledge, his intelligence of soccer, uh, in his movements, in the way He's able to keep us the ball in the way he's, you know, linking with the other players to make things happen. He's always been there and, and that's one, one of his strengths. Uh, so we're very content for him to, to be part of this team. We have a good group um, and we just have to continue to stay uh, on the same path of working hard and, and continue to improve in the details. We see Summer now in the rear view mirror. What's the best part of fall for you? The best part about fall is, first of all, that uh, you know you bring a little bit of rain. Uh, you know the flowers grow even nicer. Uh, I, I love to you know uh, to get my tomatoes and, and my my plants and take care of it. That's for me you know important. So this time you know they, they grow beautifully. How much of a green thumb are you? Sounds like you're a little bit of a gardener. I I do. I do my work. It's my relaxed moment. Is you know it's being able to be there in the yard and you know and do my thing. Get the carrots, the lettuce, the tomatoes. You know the the flowers. Uh, and it's a moment to be with my wife as well and, and enjoy, you know, a little bit outside of soccer, uh, which is rare for me because when I'm home, I'm watching soccer as well. Uh, but definitely it's, 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 uh, it's something that I enjoy doing. 